hypothesis testing the population mean a two-tailed test. Okay, have a read through this exam question. So pause the video and read through the exam question. I'm going to start off by summarizing the information in this. So the first important thing here is the standard deviation is 24 grams. That's the population standard deviation. The mean weight of loaves is 1,000 grams. That's the population mean. I'm not going to put the units in. They're, they're all in grams. That's fine. Uh, there's a sample size here. We're going to work out the sample mean. Nine hundred and seventy point one one. Okay, so we've used that thousand, we've had a look at the sample. There's a five percent significance level. Five percent significance level. And we're testing to see if the mean weight of this batch of loaves is one thousand. So it could be less than a thousand, it could be more than a thousand. So what we're going to test for is the population mean not equal to a thousand. Okay, that will be the H naught and this will be H1. H naught, the population mean is equal to 1000. H1, the population mean has changed, so not equal to 1000. The test statistic Z is equal to, and this formula is on page 12 in the formula book. Okay, make sure you get these the right way around. That's the sample mean, 970.11. That's the population mean, which is 1000 divided by sigma over root n equal to the fractions 970.11 minus 1000 over fraction again 24 over root 9 minus 3.74 Okay, so this Z value here is our test statistic. Do a sketch of the standard normal distribution. This is a two tailed test, which means you need to have two lines like this. These are the two tails of the normal distribution. We have a 5% significance level. Because there's two tails, you have to divide that between these two. So 2.5% here, 2.5% here, and 95% here. I'm looking for the Z value that goes here. The cumulative probability to the left of this line is 97.5%. Not 95, but 97.5%. So starting with P is equal to 0 0.975, go to table 4 in the formula book. 0 0.97, I need a 5 after this, there's the 5. That gives me, what, 1.96. So this is 1.96 for the Z value here. By symmetry, this one will be minus 1.96. There. And then on our sketch here, we can mark this test statistic. Okay, so... The 1.96 values, these are the critical values.
values. They're defined where these critical shaded regions start from. The test statistic minus 3.74 is clearly in the critical region, the shaded region. Okay, you always reject H0 in the critical regions and you accept H0 in the unshaded region here. Okay, the shaded regions are the critical regions. You always reject H0 if the TS value falls in the critical region, like it has here. So we're going to reject H0 and then we can conclude that there is significant evidence that the mean and now we need the context of the question here and what are we looking at here the weight of bread yeah, the weights of loaves of bread there is significant evidence that the mean weight of a loaf of bread has changed. H1 says the mean is not equal to a thousand. It says that the mean has changed and we found evidence for H1. If we take this a little further to include type 1 and type 2 errors, because the conclusion is to reject H0, um, it's possible that a type 1 error was made. There's no way that a type 2 error could have been made. And the probability of a type 1 error is equal to the significance level of 5%. So the probability of a type 1 error is 0 0.05. If a type 1 error has been made, then we should have concluded that the mean weight has not changed, so we should have accepted H0.